What If Season 2, Episode 6. Thoughts? This episode is called What If Kahori Reshaped the World. Another episode I love. One of the best What If episodes so far. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. Let's dive right in. So yeah, we start with the end of one cycle of Ragnarok and the let's see yeah the 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 tesseract went to to the ah uh, yeah where the rest of the episode is set love that they're actually speaking mohawk and the character kahori is played by devery jacobs who is herself mohawk and in addition to being an, an actor, and she's actually she's going to be in some of Echo, though it's a different character, apparently. Uh, the, that character is called Julie, so yeah, looking forward to that. But in addition, she's also written and directed, let's see, yeah, she's directed four things. Uh, let's see, three of them are shorts, and one of them is an episode of Reservation Dogs. And she's written six things, including the four things she directed. So, yeah, very cool. That is absolutely how, you know, the the stories of, for example, indigenous peoples, you know, that's how to get those stories out there to increase empathy. So, yeah, love to see it. And she she does really well here. I'd, I'd love to see... Some other, you know, other stuff she's acted in and some of the stuff she's written and directed. <clears throat> and let's see, we get the, yeah, um, we get some lore about how they perceive the lake and they're, they're chased by the Spaniards. And I really love how, like, throughout this episode, we see there's a contrast between how the Spaniards, how the conquistadors, I, you know, I'm not saying every Spaniard today is, is like this, but how the conquistadors saw things versus how the Mohawks saw things. And, and yeah, you know, the Mohawks are talking about this, this place is dangerous. And, you know, the Spaniards are like, wow, this is amazing for us. You know, the, <clears throat> they can't imagine that there's something out there that they can't conquer. And, yeah, Kahori is shot, falls into the water, and touches the, the cube and goes to the sky world. And, and we see there, you know, they consider the, the Tesseract a tool, not something to conquer the world, but something to live in harmony with nature. You know, it it doesn't even seem to occur to any of them. Like, even when Kahori has all this power, seemingly she's not going to conquer. She just wants the conquistadors to stop conquistadoring. That's it. You know, the, the like, they have so much power, and they use it to, to yeah, to go to, to... They live in a very similar way to how they did before they had all this power, you know. And it is very much like it is a clash of cultures, you know. It's it's this Christian notion of you know everything is everything belongs to us. We are chosen by God. Everything is beneath us. No matter how much misery we spread, that is our God-given right. Versus the the Mohawk, who like many native people, many indigenous peoples all over the world, they just want to live in, in harmony with nature. They just want to to make sure that they, you know, get by and that the there's enough food and shelter for their peoples. That's it. So, you know, I, I love that the, like, this is a very harsh depiction of conquistadors, and that's because it's accurate. Like, they did a lot of really, really awful like just yeah and you know it's the the 
Um, let's see. Yeah, um, it probably has happened since as well. But the most recent I'm familiar with is the 1992 movie, 1492 Conquest of Paradise, which wasn't even made by an American or a Spaniard. It was made by Ridley Scott, a British guy, you know. But British culture also has this, the, the uh, what's it called? The, the colonizing mindset, you know. That movie... 100% on the side of Christopher Columbus and the, the Spaniards. Like, it's a, okay, you, you know what, fair enough, there were maybe some Spaniards who were, who were doing, you know, who were, who were going to, to a kind of dark place, fair enough, but Columbus himself was a hero, we are, we, we should always be, be grateful to him, you know, he was a visionary, and like, then you read some of the stuff that, he himself wrote, and it's like, my God, this guy was a monster, you know, so, yeah, just a mere 31 years ago, we were still telling just lies about who these people were, who the conquistadors were, and, yeah, today, we are able to have this much more, you know, like, Disney used to be this, like, I don't know if you could say neutral, I mean, nothing's really politically neutral, but they used to try to cater, as, but okay, they still try to cater to, to both sides, but this is a very left-leaning take on this, and, you know, even just the fact that no Mohawk speaks English in this entire episode, they only speak Mohawk, you know, yeah, absolutely love it, and they, I also appreciate the decision to have all the Spaniards speak Spanish quite consistently, and and then, you know, near the end, we have this thing where clearly they're communicating, like, they're understanding the complex ideas that the other is expressing. They're not just, like, reading body language. And, you know, you might say, oh, well, that's kind of silly. Well, think about how many there are where both of them are just speaking English and they easily communicate, even though, like, we know, no, 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 these two peoples had completely different languages, you know, so, yeah, it's just, it's a variation on that. It's not, uh, yeah. So, anyway, back to, to, yeah, so, Kahori has arrived, and, yeah, she's told, you know, you cannot go back, and she is not taking no for an answer, you know, she's, she's trying to, to take steps to, to reach the, the, um, yeah, the Tesseract hole up, up in the sky, and, you know, she gets a few steps in, but then, the, you know, the, the, the branch she's stepping on falls down. You know, it, it looks... Having, having played a lot of platformers myself, it looks like she needs to, to maybe just, like, feather... You know, touch it briefly and then jump on. But, you know, she gets there eventually. And, yeah, I love the, the way the hunt... You know, we're going to hunt for... What was it? Ve vegetables or something? Yeah, yeah, something like that, you know, and then we see, oh, you know, the, these, they're actually on these giant, you know, creatures, and, you know, yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't really go by anybody else's rules, which is awesome, so she just runs, you know, she, they, the, the other guy, I'm, I'm afraid I, I didn't catch his name, and it doesn't seem to be on IMDb's main but but yeah the you know the, the his, her guide is is like okay so what you want to do don't get in front jump over you know she's like get in front not over gotcha you know speeds ahead stands in front of one of them and uses the power to to like lift it and you know you have the thing of you know the others like well we got three we got like seven and then she comes up and she's got like dozens floating in the air you know just yeah I, I hate to say it, but I think I ruined your high score. And let's see. Yeah, and, and she's celebrated by them all. And I love the detail. You know, you have the thing about our names bear the strength of our ancestors. You have strengthened your name today. Which, again, you know, that's not the kind of thing that, like, a um, capitalist from, from a Western country would would say you know that that is very much something that native peoples indigenous peoples believed believe and yeah the the you know the conquistadors think oh this is the fountain of youth 
you know, let's let's dive in. They're they're shocked when it goes badly. The skeletons were there plain to see, but they're convinced, no, it's not for us. It's not for us. You know, that's that's the that's those other people. We are chosen by God. Anything that we do in the name of conquering. And yeah, not the biggest fan. Christianity. And let's see. Yeah, and, and yeah, so some of them do go through the portal. And the moment that they realize, oh, the you know, there's native peoples here, immediately they, they go for the attack. You know, just yeah. And Kahori neos their bullets and you know, actually uses the magic. Like there's at least one guy that she like wraps a tree root around his neck and his leg. Just yeah, holy crap. Very, very dark for, for Disney. And you know, I mean he's not even like an animated Disney villain, central villain or anything. And yeah, so she goes to she she travels back and for a while, she's she's doing really well against the Spaniards, but she's not able to stop all the cannonballs. One of them does hit, but then the Sky people come to reinforce, and we're told, you know, okay, so, Queen, look, we're trying, we're really trying. Isabella, Izzy, we are getting our asses kicked, left, right, and center, you have to give this up. Like, this is not going to go the way you think it's going to go. And she's like, no, God chose me. Like, in my, I know I keep bringing this up in this video. In this part, she literally said, you know, I have been chosen by God. My, you know, I am queen. This is, you know, I get my way. I, I am to conquer. And Kahori shows up. And just, like, states, you know, no, this is how it's going to be. And the queen, you know, throws a fit. And the, the which, you know, as royalty are wont to do. And, and yeah, you know, Kahori. And, and, again, we have the thing of Kahori specifically says, the way, you know, our, let's see, I think it's your health affects our health. And that's exactly true. And that's something that, you know, we in the West were coming to realize more recently, historically speaking, more recently, back then it wasn't the case, where, yeah, you know, indigenous peoples have known it, you know, for forever. And, let's see, yeah, and, and Stephen Strange shows up at the very end, and that is the, the hook for what happens next so yeah really excited to see where where they go from here and and yeah um really love this episode i um yeah i'd love to see kahori show up in in some form you know in in a yeah in another mcu production you know i'm, I'm almost certain she's going to appear again in a later what if as well but yeah, here's hoping she crosses over in addition to that.